Hello Gemini and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini. Some moon rising in Venus so I hope you're well. As always the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome. Let's see what we have for you for the week ahead. I've uh, pulled two, uh, two cards. The Thinking Man and Deceit. We have number 25, number 46. Thinking Man could be you. You could be dealing with somebody. You know, who might be thinking. I'm generally not gender specific in general readings, but we will see. What do we have for Gemini as an angel message? Thank you. Angels, spirits, guides, two cards. Detachment. According to spiritual law, you can have anything your heart desires. However, if your happiness, sense of security or feeling of power depends on someone or something in your life, then you are attached to that person or thing and it is a chain which binds you to a lower frequency and keeps you stuck. Your guidance is to ask the angels to help you cut the cords that tie you to people, things and emotions. When all attachments are released, you can no longer be manipulated emotionally. This enables you to reclaim your power and be genuine. Free your spirit and that of others. Let go now. Your affirmation for the week, I release everyone and everything, my spirit is free. With that, we have discernment. Discernment means sensing what feels right or wrong, trusting your judgment and acting on it. Your angel guidance is to look at the people and situations in your life now and respond to your gut feeling. Learn to develop your intuition and ask the angels to help you discern the good from the bad. They will prompt and guide you. You will feel safer, happier, stronger and clearer. The angel wisdom reminds you that when you can be trusted to use discernment, you can serve the universe in a great way. The affirmation for the week, I trust my intuition. All right, Gemini, let's see what we have for you for the week ahead. What do we have for our lovely Geminis? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Gemini for the week. Message for Gemini for the week. The Hierophant, he represents a higher power at work. Having faith. Things like traditional institutions as well. Let's see what we have. What do we have for Gemini? The Knight of Cups. Male or female with the Knight of Cups. Page of Swords. Six of Wands. Page of Cups, Five of Cups, we have the Seven of Cups, bottom of the deck we have the Queen of Cups, Let's see what we have with the Hierophant Angel Spirits guys for Gemini. I'll also say Gemini, the Hierophant can be can represent a, a spiritual person or a mentor or a teacher, somebody who is either a holy person or it can actually be somebody who um, who can give you advice, guidance, support a mentor, a teacher type person. What do we have for Gemini? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. The Ten of Wands, yeah. The 
The energy that I have, I mean, central to this Gemini is someone regretting what's happened, what they've done, and they're hoping that there is an opportunity to make amends. Again, Page of Swords, um, I mean, this could also be a, a confession, uh, but it could also be something has come to light, a truth, uh, information, revelation, call it what you will, and they regret. I mean, this has caused this person to regret, but they, they're they hoping to, they want to make amends with you here, Gemini. The Knight of Cups with the Page of Cups, yes, it could be a child, but it's not limited to that. This is a message from the heart, and I, I feel this person really wants to move forward. I feel that this is an apology, a heartfelt gesture, a desire to move forward and bring positive change. Uh, but this is somebody who is speaking from the heart with a desire to move forward in a positive way by apologizing, wanting to make amends. I think something has happened here that a person regrets. Again, Queen of Cups energy, this could be the person who might be giving you advice. This could also be the person who is offering you, uh, who is involved in this situation. Uh, for those of you, this is you connecting to your heart. You letting, you know, trusting your instincts and your heart energy in terms of how you move forward here. I don't think that you're going to be clear yet. I mean, the, the Seven of Cups is a level of confusion in terms of the choice you make, you, the decisions that you make. It might well be that you're not sure in terms of whether there's trust issues with this person or not, whether something can be manifested again. And again, moving on from the issue and putting it behind you. This is likely somebody who's saying, can we just move can we just move on from the issue? Can we just move on from can we move on now? I've, I'm I'm sorry. I'd like to kind of like move on. Can we move on in a positive way and let go of you know, what's happened between us and move on from this. This could also be somebody who is coming back into your life. It could be a return in some way. You know, the Hierophant can be long-term committed relationships, marriage. So this could well be, can we, can we let go of, of past history, past baggage as well? You know, whatever came to light here, I, I regret it and I, I'm hoping to make amends. I think you're deciding in terms of whether you can or not, whether you can move on from an issue or not, because this is not so fast. I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure I can let go of, uh, of a burden. Maybe, I mean, it might have happened more than once, this kind of regret energy in your current circumstances, or again, the baggage of the past in some way. Again, could well be to rekindle a relationship. But I, I feel here, Gemini, you might be needing to talk to somebody here I think deception of some kind was involved here. And I think that you're using your discernment in terms of whether you detach from a, a current relationship, whatever format that relationship is. You know, it could well be love romantic. It could well be, you know, other areas of life, um, like a friendship or a family member in some way as well. Uh, but... For the majority of you, it just feels like you've got history with this person or it might have happened, whatever they regret might have been on more than one occasion even and you're just wondering in terms of whether to let it all go. For others of you, it's about letting go of the past history with someone returning into your life. Let's pull some cards and see what we have for you. It's, either, it's really whether you can let go of the weight the weight of experience that you're carrying right now and and have faith in starting over with this person or letting it all go because I think that either way there are trust issues here there are there are trust issues what do we have for Gemini thank you message for Gemini Message for Gemini, yeah, the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is a, is a stuck energy, but sometimes it's for a reason. The Eight of Swords is, sometimes you might need more time to think. For others of you, it's like not going down that road again, <laughs> you know? Um, I mean, however, you know, the mind is sometimes very protective of us. 
you know, and sometimes we, we stay stuck for a reason, you know. Uh, I, I feel here, Gemini, that you're closed off to something here. I think that you're letting it all, I think that you're letting something go. You're letting go of the weight, the burden, completely. Uh, because I, I think that there are trust issues. Yeah, the five of wands. Yeah, uh, this is somebody who you've had conflict with, drama with, um, caused too much upheaval in your life, constant going round and round and round in circles, especially if you've been let down on more than one occasion by this person. And that's why there is a there is that sense of a block here, uh, not going down that path again, because you don't want to, you don't want that upheaval again. I mean, I get it. Free will. I think that you might need to talk to somebody here. I think that there is somebody who might give you some advice here this week. If you're thinking about something or you're wondering what to do, for, for, for the majority of you, it just feels like I don't want to go. It was just, it was just, I don't want to have the conflict, the arguments, the, the drama, the fallout, the, the unsettling energy that this person brings in. I mean, however that manifests for you, This feels more like a, a person that's connected to your heart and it feels either romantic, could be friendship, could even potentially be family. But for the majority of you, it feels like there's a, there's a message with a view to, to moving forward, to, to kind of, uh, you know, start over and get a second chance or another chance, could be yet another chance in a relationship here. I mean, you could have given multiple chances before, but there's just such a block energy here this week. Sometimes we need a bit of time to think before we make a decision. So sometimes when we're stuck and we have inner conflict as well, we need time to think and get clarity before we move forward because there's a lot of confusion energies as well with the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Cups. And again, there could well be somebody who you need to talk to in terms of what to do. It's a strong energy that I'm getting. All right, what do we have for Gemini? Thank you. Let us hug you. Close your eyes as we hold you close. Number 30. Bottom of the deck. Believe in yourself and your abilities. We believe in you. Number 28. Gemini, that's what I have for you for the week. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Maybe you found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I'll see you next time.